my name is Armand Christian Sari Blood, and I'm calling you from Boston, Massachusetts. Tomorrow, many Ivorian people will gather in front of the White House uh, to try to get Mr. Barack Obama and the entire United States to change their mind uh, about the situation in Cote d'Ivoire. Um, I was not for the elections. Uh, I extensively stressed my position to the Congress, to Mr. Barack Obama, and to the United Nations, to the Security Council, African Union, and uh, to the French European Union, as well as to the national political leaders, because I knew that we will get to this position, to this place, we will get to this point. I knew it. Because that's why I said that the conditions were not conducive to a clean election uh, be held in Cote d'Ivoire. The problem is very simple because, as you see right now, people are killing each other. That's what I was trying to prevent all this time. For the past two years that I sent all these mails and talked to YouTube, on YouTube and so forth, this is exactly what I was trying to prevent. You know, uh, in every game, there is a referee. In some games, some, some sports, there are many referees. And there is no goal unless the referee says so. Whether it's in soccer, basketball, you get my point. So let's respect the rule of the game. Many years ago, uh, speaking about soccer, there was a great soccer player, French soccer player, by the name of Michel Platini. He was very good at converting the free kicks. You know, in free kicks, there's always a, a wall. And those who knew him were confident that whenever there is a free kick, Platini will convert it into a goal, whether the wall is large or whatever. But on this, the ball takes off the ground, curve around the wall or over the wall, and pass the goal, pass the goal line. Unless the, the, the ball gets into the net of the goal, the referee cannot call it a goal. He cannot validate it. See? There is a, a series of sequence that need to be considered in the assessment and the validation of a goal. You know, in soccer, there are three referees. So for the validation of a goal, two referees are involved. The side referee and the main empire. In Cote d'Ivoire, it seems to be the same, the same scenario. Coincidentally, during elections, according to our constitution, according to our electoral code, um, the independent electoral commission gives the preliminary information. And that information is validated by the Constitutional Council, which is the center referee, which gives the final decision. And the final decision is without appeal, according to our Constitution. It's written. It's written, just like in a Bible. When it's written, you can't appeal it. That's why I was opposed to these elections, because I knew that so many things were not right. But we can't come back to it right now because everything is on YouTube. And I sent the letters also. It would have been wise, intelligent, and fair if before the game started, they agreed upon few things to make a few amendments. But we cannot, between, you cannot change your rule of the game during the competition, the Olympic competition, the competition of this 
of his nature, saying, well, because the side referee or the main referee is the brother or the son or the cousin or the mother or the, or the midfielder, then this particular goal is, we can accept it. No. He would have been smarter, intelligent, and wise to set the rules of a competition beforehand. But you've agreed, they all agreed to go with this model, saying that the preliminary, the preliminary result will be divulgated by the independent commission and will be validated by the Constitutional Council, which is what happened. So since they did it, I was not for the election, but they did it. Let's respect the rules of the game. Let's respect the Constitution. Let's do it for the sake of peace. Let's do it for the preservation of social cohesion, solidarity. Let's do it for the preservation of civilization. Because Africa needs to move forward. Africa needs to get on the train of development. And there are so many things we can do. What's the point of trying to seize the media center of a country, or try to seize an office that you have lost? The premiership does not belong to the first novel. It never belonged to them. It, they went there because of an, an agreement. And these elections supposedly were supposed to put in hand to their seizure, illegal seizure, of the office of, of prime minister. So what's the point for the international community to make such a pressure, put such a pressure on the Ivorian people to trample over their constitution, the rule of the land, and allow the killing that is taking place right now. It is not right. It won't be right here in the United States. It won't be right in England. It won't be right in France. Let that be right. Let, let the, not this happen in Cote d'Ivoire. People deserve to live their lives. Eight, 10 years of this is enough. We can do better. They decided to play this game this way. Well, decision was made. Let's respect it all. Let's all respect it. So this message also goes to all the Ivorian people and to the African people. Usually when there are elections and you don't agree, people tend to fight, kill each other, destroy public properties and so forth. It's nonsensical. There is no need to do that. I urge you all to get some water, drink, and cool off. And let the rules of the land prevail. Let the Constitution prevail. There will be another five years. I wanted to become president. They didn't put my name over there. I don't know what they did with it. Am I out there becoming a, a rebel? No. I know that God who supports and who uphold the cause of the righteous will rise up. So let's be patient. Let's use our wisdom. Let's use common sense. And let's not use unequal wage. Unequal weights because God doesn't like it. Okay? Let's stop this pressure against the Ivorian and let's do what is right. Thank you very much. I'm Christian Seri Blay from Boston.